This video is going to walk you through the para method of note taking. It will also show you how to set it up within your own notes. The system was developed by Tiago Forte, and para stands for projects, areas, resources, and archives. It's a great way of categorizing and organizing your notes. As you can see here, it makes it pretty simple to connect everything together. So I can see the projects that I'm working on and all of the components that go into those. So let's start walking through how to set it up in your own notes. The pair method is actually quite easy to set up in your own notes. Like I showed you earlier, you're going to start by creating four main notes as categories, projects, areas, resources, and archives. I gave each of mine a custom emoji just to make them easier to see and find. And once you create the note, I like to pin it in the side. If your application does not allow pinning, just save it somewhere handy so that you can resource it frequently. Now let's start with the projects note. So inside here, I have listed all of the projects that I'm working on. So let's start with the reflect note. If I go into this, it is a company page because reflect is a company, but it's also the main project of work that I do. So inside it, I have a couple different notes here. I've got some growth ideas, a personal FAQ, and goals and tracking. By the way, I've set up this note as a demo, so it looks nice and clean. My own notes have a lot more information dumped into them. But if we go into one of the notes here, growth ideas. So this is where I would list any growth ideas that I have for Reflect. But you'll see that I've also given it this tag here. I've given a tag of project, so I know that it relates to the projects if I want to search that tag, which I'll show you in a moment. And more importantly, it's linked to Reflect. Now that means that if I want to have a growth idea sheet for each of my projects, I can do that. Now I do the same thing for the other pages in here, the personal FAQ. I put the same projects tag with the Reflect note link. And I can do that for all of them here. And that means that if I go down to the Reflect page, I get all of these coming in as backlinks. But also if I click on the projects tag, I get a list of all of my notes and I can clearly see here in the snippet which project it relates to. But if I ever want to pull up all the notes that I have related to a project, I can just search for that tag. All right, so that's projects. And you probably won't have an endless list here because you can only work on so many projects at one time, but make sure that you only keep active projects in this category here. All right, let's go into areas. Areas are each individual area of your life that you want to focus on. So some common ones here that I've got health and fitness, personal finance, home maintenance, career development, thought development, and productivity. So if I go into, let's say health and fitness, I have all of these backlinked pages that relate to health and fitness. So my fitness goals, my workout routines, any nutrition plans, any personal health records I want to save, et cetera, et cetera. Now, these are all blank. I don't actually have my health and fitness goals in here. But you can see that I've done the same thing. I've created a tag for area because this relates to an area. And I've backlinked to that note I was just in that it relates to. And that all just means, again, if I want to have multiple goals pages for other projects or other areas, this will keep it separate. And similarly, I can click on the area tag and I have a list of all of the notes that are related to an area of my life in that note. And you can, of course, add any category categories here that you want to. These are just some of the obvious ones, but we all have individual areas of our life that we're working on. So go ahead and put it in here. All right, next is the resources tab. Now the resources tab is a little bit different because it's going to relate to different projects and areas of your life. So these are mostly links that I've saved from online. It's a combination of articles, tweets, and whatnot. So if I look at note-taking methods, which is an article on the Reflect blog. This is relating to an area that I'm working on, productivity, note-taking. And you can also see here in the note for note-taking methods, I've got two different types. I've got a type of a link because it's a link that I've saved. And it also has the tag resource because it's an actual resource to one of these main areas I'm working on. The reason I include both of those is because I might want to pull up a list of all the links that I've ever saved here, and that makes it very convenient to do so. But again, I also might want to pull up all of the resources that relate to projects that I'm working on. So I can do that as well, even though in this note, those are mostly the same. All right. Now, if I go back out here, let's pull up a different one. Let's say 
uh, one of these tweets. If I pull up this tweet from Zach Holland, I saw him as a potential guest for my newsletter. So I am not only going to add the types for the link in the resource, but I'm also going to link this to the project newsletter. I'm going to give it the same tag so that it shows up in my list of project items. And it also shows up when I am looking for things linking to the newsletter. So that's resources. Again, it's a little bit different because you want to connect these two areas and projects, but every resource that you have should connect to either an area or a project. And the last category is pretty blank in here because it is the archives. And again, this is a demo brain. So here you're going to put any projects, or I should say areas, although that will probably be less common once they're completed or killed. So an example of a project, let's say that I finished my growth book. I can then move this link. I can go into here and take it out of the projects because it's showing up down here. So what I can do is I can just take that, cut it out and go down to archives and put it in there. Now, one thing you'll have to do for maintenance, once you end up completing something and moving it to the archives, remember that each of the notes in the project will still have this project tab. But that might be fine because you might want it to still show up in the projects list. So maybe you want to create a new tag that just says uh, archived. And then you can pull up anything that's also archived and a project. Things can be two tags at once. Now, I could also note here that the use of the tags here is not explicitly outlined in Tiago Forte uh, parameter. I'm using them here because I think it works quite well to the exact system of organization that he's outlined. And backlinks are also particularly useful here because then we can see this nice map. So if I go to this areas node, I can see all of my different areas here and all the notes that are conveniently attached to them. And that makes it quite easy to visualize and kind of see where things are going. And again, this is not specifically part of the pair method. However, the pair method is often associated with network note taking and what you're looking at right here is just a byproduct of network note taking because everything is all linked together. All right, so that's about it. Again, this is not that complicated. Just start by creating these four categories and make sure that each and every note you create, it's neatly into one of your categories. Over time, you'll of course add more and more things here, but that's okay. They're easy to review. And that is something you should also be doing is you can click into each of these once a week, once a month, make sure that everything is up to date and you're reviewing the previous notes you've taken. And with the resources section, just make sure you're revisiting them so that you don't put in resources and forget about them forever. But overall, the pair method is a fairly simple structure to use when organizing and categorizing your notes, whether you're capturing new information, doing some brainstorming or working on individual projects or areas of your life.